This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. This entire document saga with Donald Trump is coming, it seems coming to an end. It seems that we are facing down the very, very real reality, the very real chance that Donald Trump is going to be indicted very soon by federal authorities. Yesterday morning, his lawyers were caught by CBS News going into the the headquarters of the DOJ, presumably to have a meeting. I'm I'm sure they're not just going to go enjoy the coffee in the lobby. And they came out. And Donald Trump took to to, to Truth Social and freaked out about, they're going to prosecute me. They're going to arrest me. I'm going to be indicted. This is the... uh, And it really, uh, I'm sure, pleases his lawyers that he is spilling the beans publicly if you read between the lines of what's going on but some other stuff has come out related to this entire uh, scenario here and it is that donald trump it seems unless it's just the most of, of sheerest of coincidences seems was trying to destroy surveillance evidence that is collected through the the closed circuit security system of his hotel of his hotel of his uh, home and resort mar-a-lago that they flooded a room that contained a bunch of it sources a bunch of uh, closed circuit tv sources they flooded it it seems like maybe in an attempt to destroy the evidence i'm going to read from the cnn article they're the one with the exclusive on this Uh, The headline here, exclusive Mar-a-Lago pool flood raises suspicions among prosecutors in Trump's classified documents case. Now, this would go to obstruction. This would go to uh, attempting to to destroy evidence that could be used against Donald Trump. Don't get it uh, confused. That is not the right of someone. That is not online with uh, not being forced to testify against oneself, you know, the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution. And there's a, there, there's a paragraph in here I'm going to read first because it was deep in the article and it really lays out exactly why this is problematic here. Agents first subpoenaed, it gives the timeline, actually, let me explain what, it gives the timeline of when they subpoenaed uh, the material, and then subsequently when the pool flood happened. Agents first subpoenaed the Trump Organization for Mar-a-Lago surveillance footage last summer before the August search by the FBI. But as more classified documents were found through the end of the last year, investigators sought more surveillance footage from the Trump Organization, sources tell CNN. That included an additional subpoena after the FBI search in August and a request from the Justice Department for the Trump Organization to preserve additional footage in late October, according to one of the sources. And that brings us to the information we learned yesterday, that there's a figure who works for the Trump Organization, who, or, who works for Mar-a-Lago, a maintenance worker or something like this, who was involved in the moving of classified documents from one location to the other. He was very likely part of the dress rehearsals that were done so they could have their movements down to try to avoid the knowledge of the federal government of what they were doing. This same person is alleged to be the person who drained the pool and oopsie flooded the room that contained all of the sensitive surveillance footage. An employee at Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence drained the resort swimming pool last October and ended up flooding a room where computer servers containing surveillance video logs were kept, sources familiar with the matter told CNN. While it's unclear if the room was intentionally flooded or if it happened by mistake, the incident occurred amid a series of events that federal prosecutors found suspicious. At least one witness has been asked by prosecutors about the flooded server room as part of the federal investigation into Trump's handling of classified documents, according to one of the sources. The incident, which has not been previously reported, came roughly two months after the FBI retrieved hundreds of classified documents from the Florida residents, and as prosecutors obtained surveillance footage to track how White House records were moved around the resort. Prosecutors have been examining any effort to obstruct the Justice Department's investigation after Trump received a subpoena in May 2022 for classified documents. So if they are able to determine that Donald Trump is 
obstructing justice, obstructing the investigation. This is just going to be a pile on of charges. And again, if Donald Trump did nothing wrong, why would he be trying to conceal? Why would he be trying to obstruct? If, if you did nothing wrong, if the FBI came knocking on my door right now, one, it'd be a bummer because I'd have to pause the video here <laughs> or maybe just let the cameras run. But I, I, would, I would let them in. And if they, uh, if they had questions, I, there would be nothing for me to conceal. There would be nothing for me to obstruct because I've done nothing wrong. Continuing here, prosecutors have heard testimony that the IT equipment in the room was not damaged in the flood, according to one source, so they can't even obstruct justice right. <laughs> That's ultimately what we're hearing here. There was an attempt made, ostensibly, allegedly, seems to me, more than just a coincidence, and they didn't get it done. Yet, the flooded room, as well as conversations and actions by Trump's employees while the criminal investigation bore down on the club, has caught the attention of prosecutors. These circumstances may factor into a possible obstruction conspiracy case, multiple sources tell CNN, as investigators try to determine whether the events of last year around Mar-a-Lago indicate that Trump or a small group of people working for him took steps to try to interfere with the Justice Department's evidence gathering. Now listen, you rest assured that if the DOJ comes knocking to that particular maintenance worker or anyone else outside of the political echelon of Donald Trump's surrounding uh, compatriots, they're going to squeal. Somebody who is the guy who drains the pools at Mar-a-Lago and is hired by the, by the club to move boxes around isn't going to take a header for Donald Trump. They're not going to take one for the team. If there is pressure by the federal government that they were part of a conspiracy to obstruct justice, you know they're going to sing. You know they're going to flip on Donald Trump and give the goods. Things are getting worse and worse and worse for Donald Trump with every new revelation. I have said this. I used to be someone who thought this was never going to happen. And as things, as slowly as they're going, as they shifted, it does appear to me that it is more likely than not, I'm not saying it's a slam dunk, but it's more likely than not that we're going to see Donald Trump arrested, brought to trial, convicted, and sentenced for his crimes. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can always email me daily at dollamore.com. Just put it in your contact list. Just put me, Jesse Dollamore, email, phone. And when you have a thought, you can contact me. <laughs> um, Thanks for joining me today. We can mix it up in the comments. I'd love to hear. We could really uh, talk about this in the comments. One, that helps to game the algorithm. It helps to get this content and this channel introduced to new people, which while I'm talking about that, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's been a long road, but I'm almost to 500,000 subscribers and I'm trying to get there by the end of the year. And it's only with your help that I'm gonna be able to do it. If you wanna do more than, than just subscribe, you can uh, become a channel member for $1.99 a month. Click the join button below. You can click the super thanks button below, give uh, immediate support. Or even better, you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I love you guys. Appreciate you very much. Thanks for being engaged with my content. Thanks for caring about the world we live in. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another. <laughs>